Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. We're at a different angle today because we're working on a little project. I got this book cart. You remember when book carts were a big deal? Yeah, I got this book cart, this Raskog book cart from Ikea when I was pregnant, so three years ago. Um, I remember we went to Ikea, my husband was getting something for himself and so he had to get something for me. Because <laughs> that's kind of how it works. We were at Ikea and book carts were a big deal. And he said, you want a book, you want a cart? And I said, yeah. He said, what are you going to put in it? And I said, books? Like, what else? You know, it was around the time we were preparing for the baby. And I think he thought when I, when he offered me the cart, I was going to use it for like nursery stuff. <laughs> I experimented with that, but I never really needed this for like, carrying baby wipes and stuff we had something to do that so this book cart sat around for a few years because I just wasn't using it it had things in it and I'll show you a picture it had books that I wasn't using papers books magazines that I wasn't reading I just didn't use this cart I piled things on top of it but I wasn't using the cart for the things that I really wanted to keep in it like books that I need to have rolling around beside me. So today's my daughter's second day of preschool. On the first day of preschool yesterday, I took the book cart from upstairs, brought it downstairs. Those are the stairs. I brought it downstairs and decided I was going to work on using this book to or using this book cart to organize my books and my book storage and my bookish life. So that's what we're here today to do. So I have all these piles, oops, I have piles of books. My TBR, I have books that I've been reading. Um, so there's TBR, there's currently reading, there are books that I've already finished this month and need to keep around kind of close at hand so I can take bookish pictures or so that I can film recap videos, that kind of thing. And I also have books that I need to just keep because they're recently hauled and I need to either include them in a video or books that I need to feature on Instagram, like publishers send me books that I need to feature and so i need to put those in a specific place with a note as to when those reviews or those promos need to be uploaded the last couple of years i've just been winging it so today we're going to try to organize so i don't you know when you just start with a system it takes a little while before everything becomes automatic so i don't really want to put labels on this shelf i don't want to put labels on these shelves it's a little hard for me to show you, but here are, here's a cart and there's all the other stuff that you're just not going to pay attention to. These are the three tiers that this cart has, right? So here's what I'm thinking. To be read. No. Yeah. To be read, read and recently hauled or to be read, recently hauled and other other at the bottom so to be read where am i going to put my red books i should probably do some research and see how other people use their cards but um this i think is going to be a little bit off a work in progress we're going to experiment and see how it works so for right now here are the books that i have to be read i'm going to keep those on the top shelf right these are the books that are part of my september tbr This is a current read. This is a current read. So maybe I'll keep my currently reading. Um, maybe I'll keep my currently reading like this. So maybe I'll do it like this where my TBR stands up. My currently reading lies down. So it's face up. And where will I put the books that I've already finished this month? And by books I've finished this month so far, I really mean book because so far I've only finished this one thing, which is <laughs> why I know I don't need that much space. So maybe we'll just put it down here. So already finished this month and all of these are to be read. And where will I put my library books? So my library books will probably go on top as well. 
um, so these are all books that I got from the library recently. Those are also in the T T TBR, right? So, yeah, this is kind of what I'm going to be doing. So, these are TBR books, including library books. I feel like this is not a great, um, I feel like this is not a great solution. So, these are all books that are to be read. So, I think currently reading is going to have to go somewhere else. So, currently reading and read maybe on the second tier. And let's put all the TBR up here. This is not really going so well, guys. These are all TBR. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put labels, publisher reviews somewhere separate from other things. So all the TBR books are going to be on top. But what I'll do is I'll separate them. I'll get a couple of little dividers and I'll separate that these are for publisher reviews. These are publisher reviews. I mean, I always know them. I don't really need labels for them, but I do need to label when the reviews need to happen. So this is all TBR and this is current read and that is already finished this month and then maybe at the bottom i'll add yeah my daughter made a little label right so maybe at the bottom i'll put magazines that i could just flip through when i'm ready so at the bottom i'll put my magazines i have my bookmarks magazines and these are old editions but i keep them around because i use them for research sometimes for book lists so yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing with my book cart I'm gonna label it and I'm gonna show you pretty pictures when I'm done so we need to get this stack increased so far we've only finished one book <laughs> I started this last month and I still haven't finished so I need to finish that and yeah just need to read all the things all the time <gasps> stay tuned so this is what it looks like Top shelf, TBR and reviews, TBR and some of these are reviews and I put stickers, post-its on the front to let me know which dates they need to be done. So like this doesn't need to be reviewed until October, but I'll still put it here because just in case I finish my September TBR, which I probably won't in September, I could start on my October books because why not, right? So these are, I could actually put these in date order, September, September, these are October. So these three are all October, these are September, and then some of these are library books. Some of these are just other books that I have on my TBR that I'd like to get to. Like This is a publisher review, but I don't have a date attached to it. Uh, book Club, Run Rat Reads Book Club, which I must read very soon, <laughs> and other, other things that are in the TBR pile. So that's the top top shelf top tier second tier would be for my current reads right now i am reading this for the booktube prize finals that i'm judging that's a library book that i started yesterday and should have finished but i didn't and then that's a book that i've been reading since last month which i should have finished but didn't so those are current reads like it says and over here is the book that i have finished so far this month and then research is fun is my label because these are some bookmarks magazines that I flip through every now and then looking for ideas uh, or looking for bookish news and yeah so that's the book cart let me know if you got some inspiration from this to organize your current reads your current reading situation these tags are temporary and So that's my current reading organization. Let me know in the comments down below if you got some tips or some ideas from here or if you want to share some tips or ideas with me. So thank you so much for watching this video. We'll be back soon with another one. And until then, happy reading. Bye.